hi guys uh, in this video I'm gonna show you how you can uh, create a lambda function uh, using docker image um, here the most important thing is about a docker image that uh, when you are using a docker image uh, you can have a large uh, file size in lambda normally if you are using uh, lambda with python library uh, if it is more than 100 and 250 MB, don't, uh, I'm not exactly sure is the uh, amount of MB. Uh, then what will going to happen is your uh, file, uh, zip file going to go fail. You cannot upload. Because of that, those situation using a Docker image, a container image would be uh, ideal. Let me uh, show you how you can do that. Uh, first of all, I'm going to show. Uh, I'm going to. I'm going to make. Uh, I'm going to show you a Docker file. Uh, this is my Docker image, uh, which need to be custom, customized, customized uh, according to the requirement of the Lambda function. Um, you can see there's the requirement file here, and uh, then just a simple Python sl uh, slim uh, versions of it and then how you can run it. So it's Python function, the doc file name and then handler. Don't worry guys, I'm going to share all the code uh, in the YouTube description section. You can download from there and you can try out by yourself. So uh, this is just a simple uh, reading a file from uh, um, S3 bucket, so simple code. You can change your bucket and put up some random file name and whatever the file that you have and then this is the just simple requirement file so let's get started so in order to get started either you should have a cloud 9 uh, so it would be easier uh, cloud 9 versions of a uh, machine or have your own uh, uh, computer to set it up uh, set up with access to AWS uh, or otherwise you can just uh, directly launch uh, from here on uh, cl uh, cloud shell uh, but make sure you upload the files so if you upload all the files and everything you can see something like this and make sure you have all three files uh, in your computer so and before we are uh, do anything um, we need to push this image uh, to the AWS so in order to do that uh, we are use uh, we you need to use uh, AWS uh, uh, elastic container registry so you can uh, in AWS search area if you type uh, elastic uh, container registry uh, container registry you can find the uh, re uh, relevant service uh, and uh, another important thing is that in order to uh, uh, cloud uh, lambda function to access that you need to create your image in a private rep private registry not the public one so you make sure that uh, you create uh, your repo in uh, private registry in aw uh, amazon uh, uh, elastic container registry so let me create a sample one so i'm gonna say here it's private i'm gonna say you tube demo and nothing else to change here i'm gonna say i'm not gonna change any encryption or anything i'm just gonna say create let me look at it any errors or anything let okay my uh repo is created now you will get all the push command uh, required you to like uh, push your image so in here uh, if you are, have a windows computer this is the windows command for that uh, if you are using linux or a mac os this would be the command this is just to log into your may to make sure that you are you can log into your aws account so if i take this code and run this one it will make sure i'll successful log into my uh, aws environment uh, if you are running through the cloud shell it won't be uh, any issue you don't have to do any set up, setting up here and then uh, then you need to get uh, this is just the docker build uh, dash command uh, if you work with docker you know how to do this part so what you can do is just docker 
build the HT, just enter and then next step would be uh, tagging. Uh, for here you might take a bit of a time, uh, here it won't take, for me is not much of time because I have already created that image so that's why it's run really fast. In your case might take time. I'm gonna tag the image before I do the, uh, any pushing so I just tag it. Now let's take the uh, docker image push. So let's run that command. Okay, that will start pushing our image to the docker uh, reg container registry. So let um, during this time what I'm going to do, I'm going to start creating a lambda function. So here we need, just need to select this container image and then just you can give a name. I'm going to say you tube uh, container demo. And then let's see whether our image is, uh, is going to appear here. Yes, our image is completed. So it's successfully uh, pushed to our repo. So now you can just uh, copy this uh, uh, image URL and then come here and then paste it. Oh, otherwise what you can do is go here and then select your repo and then select the image and then select. So that will make sure your image and then I'm not going to change any um, executive role or anything and uh, uh, you make sure here um, you need to give a, uh, let me show you what time uh, in the next stage you might have to change your executive role because we are accessing a file from uh, S3 bucket. Let's create our function. So it's going to take a couple of minutes to a couple of seconds actually to create our function. Okay, this function been getting created. Okay, our function is ready, but if you run tests, it's going to fail because uh, uh, by default it's going to have only three second uh, running time. So it's going to be okay. It's running. Let's see what's going to happen. Yeah, it's going to, yeah, three seconds. So make sure you go to config area and general configuration, edit, and just put it to like one minute. You you don't need one minute to run this one, but uh, I'm just for the sake of it. And also you need, uh, it uh, if you run it now, it's going to fail it again because uh, um, uh, we haven't, uh, Given the uh, my code uh, act, try to access S3 bucket, so it doesn't have uh, access to S3 bucket by default. Uh, default role. Oh, okay, function got successful. Oh no, because access deny. Even though it's run, it couldn't access the our S3 bucket. So what we can do is now you need to go to uh, configuration section um, and then go to permission and open your uh, role and then just set the uh, add permission attach policies s3 and i'm going to give s3 full access guys i'm not going to redo uh, change anything there and then just uh, yeah it's got completed now we just have to uh, go back again and then go to the test and this let's earlier version is access deny now let's test it again this time there shouldn't be any issue so you can see that it's successful and it's reading the values and give you some output but uh, it's not in properly format as you can see in this uh, code so this is simple video how to how you can use docker image to launch a uh, lambda function and most important part here this creating get uh, this docker image part so make sure you download it and uh, uh, correctly uh, change accordingly for your requirement you if only changes that going to be happen if you are doing any more changes is uh, in this area we are in lambda uh, you are calling your lambda function this this is handler you have to make sure that it's correct the function is defined and it's lambda function 
and handler so that you call a particular function and then whatever the requirement changes are going to happen based on your uh, Python uh, function. Uh, that's all for this video guys. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day.